Least if that was the way it worked, <laughs> I'd be making a million dollars like Otani <laughs> right now. Uh, more than that, hundreds of millions. How about this? Janice Noyce with the credit. A snow Basin is coming along. And this is a northern Wasatch looking real good, starting to see the maples turn. But the aspens taking their time. You can see groups of green here. Yeah, aspens take a little more time. But there are spots across the state. Just saw a photo in from Boulder Mountain where the aspens are starting to turn over. Here's a look at Game Night Live. It's tonight, Davis at Weber, 7 p.m. kick. It'll be in the 70s to start, but 60s to finish. If you have a game down in southern Utah, you're looking at a chance for some storms this afternoon and evening could impact the football games going on at the high school. So just a heads up there. Okay, low pressure down in the Southern California region is taking its time, but as I mentioned, it is gonna hook to the right, and that's gonna play into St. George's weather for today. As it moves to the east, it'll put a little bit of moisture down in the southwest corner here. We could see some pop-up showers. They may extend as far north as Delta, maybe even the Fillmore area. This low swings into the four corners. Notice the moisture now moving into eastern and southeast Utah. Some of those showers may try to pop up in the mountains of northern Utah, the Uintas, the Wasatch Plateau. I don't see it getting into the valleys, but we can't rule it out, right? I've gone partly cloudy, so just heads up on Saturday. Sunday, clear skies, maybe a couple of clouds in the Book Cliff Mountains. That is it. How much moisture are we talking about? Well, a tenth to maybe a quarter if you get lucky down in extreme southern Utah. There's Richfield with 800s, maybe 500s for price. These aren't going to be strong storms, but they may put down a little bit of rain. So central Utah, upper 70s, might be a great one to go check out the skyline uh, trail there east of Manti. Uh, 70 in Penguich. We've got 87 in St. George, chance for storms there. In the four corners, you're gonna stay dry with minimal cloud cover, honestly. 80 in Vernal, 78 West Valley, cross the Wasatch Front. Look at that, upper 70s, low 80s, a beautiful fall day. It's been copy and paste the last several. Chance for storms today in St. George, 87. The rest of the weekend looks dry. Into next week, a little warmer in the low 90s. Wasatch Front, 80, mostly clear. Partly cloudy, mountain storms possible on Saturday. First day of fall, 77 with more 70s and 80s to follow with quiet weather dominating as we head into next week. Yeah.